from the cradle to the grave we are driven by the pain desire power to build a home the real power is in the soul I can do this I can use from Tennessee. <laughs> On this Titans All Access, Coach Dave McGinnis explains how Khalif Raymond got so open twice at Minnesota. Fellow wideout A.J. Brown is this week's Nissan Insider and will look at the big plays from Tennessee's undefeated September. All of that and more as Titans All Access starts now. The monster, Derrick Henry, Sack! Rashad Evans, A.J. Brown to the house. Brian Tannehill taking him to school. In uh, light of the two recent positives tests that we had, uh, the NFL had made the, the, the smart and, and safe decision to postpone our game uh, and that we would be on a bye week uh, starting now. Mike Vrabel from Thursday morning after learning that COVID-19 has postponed the Titans home game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Titans facing a new set of obstacles as October dawns and the NFL season continues. We welcome you to Titans All Access with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith and we're joined right off the top of the show by Titans General Manager John Robinson. And John, to say the last few days have been a challenge for the Titans organization would be an understatement. You're really having to draw on that resolve that we've seen out of your football team on the field in the first three games. Yeah, it's, it's obviously still 2020 and um, still throwing things our way. Um, but, you know, that's the makeup of our, of our football team, you know, just working through the situation that uh, we've been dealt with. Now, we do want to take a minute to talk about the Titans win over the Minnesota Vikings. And I want to start with Steven Goskowski because he made six field goals, three in the second half from over 50 yards, and the game winner, of, co of course, was from 55. He's one of the best kickers in the NFL statistically, but it seems as though he does even better when the game is on the line. Do you agree? Steve uh, obviously got off to a, a less than ideal start, as, as he would admit to uh, there in Denver, but... You know, he, he's made a lot of big kicks in this league. He's kicked in pressure situations. And all those kicks uh, Sunday versus Minnesota were, were big for us, and uh, I was proud for it. And uh, hopefully he's, he gets to kick more uh, extra points uh, than Phil goes moving forward. Mike Vrabel said after the Minnesota game that he thought defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons might have played his best game as a Titan. What jumped out about what Jeffrey did against the Vikings? Certainly tough to block um for for four quarters you know whether it was you know on passing downs or, or rundowns you know i thought he disrupted uh the line of scrimmage he changed the line of scrimmage several times he got pressure on the quarterback on the interior of the pocket gave great chase um down the line of scrimmage and in pursuit several times you know to help us get a stop so yeah it was it was one of better, one of jeffrey's better performances for sure now we're going to talk about khalif raymond a little bit later with dave mcginnis but I want to ask you about him as well, because his first three catches have really shown off his explosiveness. We see it in practice every day. We saw it, you know, we saw it last year in 2019 in a couple games, Indy and, and Baltimore there, where he, you know, he can really stretch the field uh, vertically and, and come up with those chunk plays or, their, or those explosive plays. Uh, and that was the case Sunday in Minnesota. You know, the coverage was, was right. It was a great call by Arthur, a great throw by Tannehill, but it was about Khalif getting separation from the defender and making a play on the football. And uh, those plays that he made were, were critical for us uh, to get points in those drives. Next man up is always something the Titans are conscious of. Taylor Lewan goes down at left tackle. You call on a young man that you signed this offseason, Ty Sambrello, felt like he did a very good job blocking Yannick Ngakwe in some tough circumstances. 
Yeah, you know, Ty's a veteran in this league. He's, you know, he's played a lot of different positions, uh, whether it was guard, uh, right tackle, left tackle. You know, he's kind of been a master you know, at, at, at moving positions and, and plugging in when needed. You know, the first set of plays was a little bit rough for him, but he settled down, did a really, really good job for, for the, the old line, protecting against, you know, a really, really good pass, uh, pass rusher uh, and then helping in the run game as well. So proved to be a key piece for us Sunday in Minnesota uh, to keep that thing going. Up next, Coach Dave McGinnis takes us beneath the surface to show us Khalif Raymond's explosiveness. Amy just said that, I think. That's next on Titans All Access. Good listening, Mike. We welcome you back to Titans All Access. You know, Amy Wells, Titans fans love wide receiver Khalif Raymond. They do, and I agree. I, too, love wide receiver Khalif Raymond. Is it because he's small and tough and thankful and appreciative and will do anything? No, it's because he catches the football, Mike. She's awesome. It's true. <laughs> she hangs around with Dave McGinnis, too, which is why when we go to Microsoft's Beneath the Surface here, you'll hear Coach Mack talk about a lot of the same things. I like him personally, actually, as well. Catch the ball. That's all I need. This is Coach Mack. Welcome to Beneath the Surface, powered by Microsoft Surface. Today, we're going to look at two explosive plays by the Titans offense that went a long way contributing to this victory over the Minnesota Vikings. Both of them, Ryan Tannehill to Khalif Raymond, and a tremendous job of the offensive line and the play action protection that ensued. First play we're going to look at, it's a second play of the ball game. It's 14-25 in the first quarter. We've got uh, regular personnel in the game, two backs, two wide receivers, one tight end. You see the motion across the ball here that gives us a slot formation. We've caught the Minnesota Vikings in man-to-man -man defense. And so what we're going to see is the play action. Watch the play action protection. Tremendous, tremendous pocket for Ryan Tannehill. And then Khalif Raymond on the outside against cornerback Holton Hill. Watch the stutter and go. And then the exact perfect pass. Watch it drop right into Khalif Raymond's hands. Big gain, 44 yards. Second play of the ball game. It puts the Minnesota defense on alert that if they're going to play eight people in the box, then the Titans are going to take shots downfield. Now we're looking at first and 10 for the minus 35. It's Titans 19, Minnesota 24. Now we are in 12 personnel. Go from three by one to two by two. The motion across the ball. Minnesota is now in quarters coverage. We're gonna get play action with the crunch look. We again have excellent, excellent protection. Quarters coverage, the safeties bite up on the person going out into the flat. Khalif Raymond now does a tremendous job, sticks his foot in the ground, makes a real nice corner post move the safety, the rookie, Jeff Gladney, bites on the move, wide open down the middle. Again, a nice marriage between play action, protection, and then Khalif Raymond using his speed and also a very nice down the field move to get wide open. Look at the great protection. Look at the pocket. Look at the time that Ryan Tannehill has. Another beautiful, beautiful pass. This led to Derrick Henry's second rushing touchdown of the game. Now the Tennessee Titans are moving towards the victory. You've seen two explosive plays off of play action protection executed to perfection by the Tennessee Titans. A.J. Brown posted record-setting numbers in his rookie season. Could he have had the same impact on another sport? Number 11 discusses it next on Titans All Access. I've been a fan my whole life. We're founding season ticket members. I started coming to the games when I was old enough to walk. I've been a season ticket holder for this is my third year. Um, and Titans games are so much fun and my favorite part of the year. I'm really honored and um, very humbled to have this opportunity to come. And I'm grateful to St. Thomas, grateful to Titans. The first time I've ever seen it this empty. Normally I'm just trying to scoot past people, get some high seats, sit down, watch the free game. This is really, really weird. It's like a ghost town. Just got finished seeing the, the team warm up, and it's, it's going to be exciting to see how the game transpired with only being eight people in the stand. You're going to cheer, and I'm just going to make an effort to cheer to the top of my lungs since there's only eight of us in here. <laughs> Before the game, I, you know, I said hey to Arthur Smith as he was walking out, and he looked at me, gave me a point, and... I don't want to say, you know, I helped inspire him with some of the play calls, but I'm not, I don't think I did anything to, to hurt the Titans offense. <laughs> I 
think we'll feel a little weird cheering that no one else is, but me and Aaron definitely will be yelling every time there's a big third down. It's really awesome to be here, um, and I don't think this will ever happen again in my lifetime um, to be able to cheer the Titans on. It's awesome, so we're really excited to see them, and we're hoping they're for a win today. Fires into the end zone, ball caught. Smith, touchdown Titans! Mike Keith in the booth and Coach Mac right now. <laughs> like, I can see what's happening, but it's also kind of nice to hear what's happening. <laughs> yes, he did. Touchdown! Oh, let's go! in India, he's rooting for the Titans. He's praying that they'll win today. But when you're here, sitting this close to the players, you can hear all of the trash talking, you can hear the coaches giving pointers and everything. Menchu pops, throws, ball batted in here, yeah. intercepted! Oh. The game was exciting, you know, fun to get to hear and see everything from up close like I, you know, I never would and I probably never will again. Titans All Access continues. It's time for our Nissan Insider. And, you know, uh, it's football season. It is indeed. But it's also the playoffs in baseball. There's a lot going on right I now, I love Mike. the baseball. You, you, do? you know, I love baseball so much, and I love playoff time. It's so exciting. But you know who doesn't necessarily love baseball? Me. Maybe you, but also the subject of this week's Nissan Insider, and this may surprise you. AJ, football season is getting underway. Everybody's excited, but baseball is winding down. Almost playoff time. Now, people know about you. Not only a great football player growing up, a 19th round draft pick of the Padres, super outfielder great growing up. When the playoffs start to get here, do you ever miss baseball at all? That's a good question because, to be honest, uh, a lot of people know I play baseball but I really do not watch baseball at all, like at all. So you don't know what's going on with the Padres or anybody else? I, I promise you, my brother turns to it on TV. I watch for a couple of swings, then I exit the room. It is the most boringest game to watch on TV to me, <laughs> but I can play it somehow. What would you say are the skills that you had in baseball that you certainly use as a football player, skills that were really applicable to both for an athlete? I would just say hand-eye coordination with catching the ball and tracking the ball. You know, if you can track a little small baseball, you can track around football, so it makes it, makes it easier. Your competitiveness, that's the thing that really jumps out, watching you in practice, watching you in games. Where does that come from? Um, that comes from my dad, to be honest, uh, putting me at a putting me with older kids growing up. Like, he used to allow, like, my application saying I was older even though I was younger. So I was playing with an older age, and I had to compete. And when I got to my age group, I was pretty much dominating, so. Is that maybe the biggest reason that you didn't have a, um, a fear or an apprehension last year as a rookie and that you certainly don't show it now? I've never been the type of the been scared. I kind of got that out when I was in middle school. That's the last time I've been scared to play football when I was in middle school, so. As you come through your rookie year, and you're now into year two, what's the biggest thing you've learned? The most important thing you've learned? I would definitely say just being a pro all the time. All the time, you know, it's not a switch. It's not a day you can come in and you, you want to work hard something. It's an everyday, everyday thing. And you always got to try to be a student of the game and try to learn something new every day and try to improve because that's what it's about in this league. What do you want to be as an NFL player? What do you want to be known as? 
uh, when, when somebody talks about me, bring my name up, I just want him to, to speak good things and, and say like he's he come to work every day, he lead by example, you know, and he's a great teammate, he's a great, he's a great person. So we love watching you play. Thanks for letting us get to know you a little better. AJ Brown, we appreciate you being this week's Nissan Insider. Thank you. Boy, Mike, I'm glad he chose football. I think it was a good decision. Yeah. A.J. Brown, our Nissan Insider this week. When we return, Amy Wells and I cover the news of the week, which, of course, is the postponement of Sunday's game with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And later in the program, the best plays from an undefeated month of September as Titans All Access continues. If you want the most complete information on your Tennessee Titans in podcast form, subscribe to the OTP presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Mike, Amy, Coach Mack, and Jim Wyatt get you ready for the game like no one else. To get the OTP, visit TennesseeTitans.com slash podcasts or look for the OTP wherever you get your podcasts. We welcome you back to Titans All Access. Amy Wells and I set to talk about a bye week that we did not expect. It's the Titans' earliest bye since 2015. Titans were scheduled to play the Steelers this weekend, but on Thursday morning, the league postpones the game until later in the season. And I think the interest of health stands first for this league. And the first thing you have to be concerned about, the players and the staff members who have tested positive for COVID-19 and their health. Absolutely. And that's what Mike Vrabel has kind of redirected the attention to, is that we want to make sure these guys are okay. We want to make sure that they are healthy and being treated the way that they need to be, and their families are able to remain healthy. Um, that is the ultimate concern for Mike Vrabel. Of course, a former player, so he understands how these guys are feeling. And I think that that ultimately is the most important thing. And it's good to see that the Tennessee Titans and the National Football League are keeping that at the forefront of all decisions. Mike Vrabel has been the Titans head coach for just over two seasons now. And he's certainly seen some adversity during that time. He was asked on Thursday about what he has learned through this entire process that not just football coaches may learn from, but people all over sports. Yeah, I think it's just important that um, you, you stay together, you know, I think you stay um, consistent in, in what the the approach is um, that you you have a, a, a personal side to you that, that you want to make sure that those play, those people that are indeed infected are, are safe and that they're they're healing, but but also understand that, um, you know, the, the severity of it and that will We'll probably have different protocols that we'll have to follow. You know, I understand that when we go back into the building and we'll, we'll do exactly what the league asks us to do for the safety of the players and, and their families and our, and our staff and their families. So here's what we do know about the football side of it. The Tennessee Titans will end the season playing 13 straight games. And that is obviously a big challenge for this football team, but it doesn't seem like challenges phase this group. No, this is a very resilient team. We've seen it early in the season that they are able to overcome whatever obstacles are thrown their way. And now we're going to see it again in the later part of the season. 13 games is a big pill to swallow. It's a lot. But on the same token, this team can handle it. They are prepared. They are in good shape. And as long as this team can stay healthy, that challenge is not insurmountable. That's a good point. So the Tennessee Titans, although they are disrupted by what's happened this week, there's no question about that, they are not completely thrown off because of who they are and where they are. And that's what's really very exciting about this team going forward. Much to deal with, but they deal with it from a position of strength with their veteran leadership and with their good start. And when Titans All Access continues, we'll take a look at some of the best plays from September. An undefeated month for the Titans where they had a lot of good things happen. We'll see them all again next on Titans All Access. On the next Titans All Access, it's time to get ready for a visit from the Buffalo Bills. We'll have a preview of game one in Tennessee's three-game October homestand. And all-pro punter Brett Kern, a Buffalo native, is our Nissan insider. Find out what's important to the man who's the best in the business. 
All that and more next time on Titans All Access. This is normally the part of the program where we'd have John Robinson on to provide his keys to beating the next opponent, sponsored by Farm Bureau Insurance. Of course, as you know by now, there is no game this weekend because Tennessee-Pittsburgh postponed. So instead, we're going to treat you to some of the best moments from what was an undefeated September. Absolutely. There's nothing better than reliving a 3-0 start. Let's do that. Let's do that. And so for Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us for Titans All Access. Enjoy the good things that we've seen in the month of September, and hopefully we've got a lot more good things to come. Caught, balls out. Balls out, and I think the Titans have it. Fired, forcing the fumble on the quick screen. What a catch! Michael Pruitt! Ah, yes, sir, what a catch. He did not make it. Snap, set, kick. Good! Touchdown, Titans! Power from number 81. Touchdown, Titans! Adam Humphrey for the lead. His kick on the way. Good! Jim Henry, left side. Touchdown, Titans! Under pressure, sack! He goes flying through the air like Superman. Touchdown, Titans! Right hand for the lead. Snap, set, kick. Yes! Oh, three, oh, three, oh, three, oh, three. Who next? Who next?